Welcome to LGM USA. Thank you for purchasing our joystick upgrade kit. We're confident you'll love the ease of use and precise control of your LGM 100. And with the joystick conveniently mounted by your side, you'll be comfortably getting all your landscaping projects done. We're excited to walk you through the installation process. If you need any support, we are here to help. Before we start, let's look at what's included in your joystick kit. Hire a professional if you don't feel comfortable doing any of this work. Gather all the tools listed on the screen. Please wear the appropriate safety gear and exercise caution when using power tools. We'll be installing this kit on an X5 series tractor. However, the process is the same for the X3 series tractors. Let's start by mounting the joystick. Remove the cup holder. Use a half inch socket to loosen and remove the two nuts holding it in place. Then pull it up and out. Save the nuts for later. Use the gray mounting template as a guide to drill the three screw holes with a 7 32nd inch drill bit. And don't worry, the cup holder is the only part of your tractor we will be modifying. Replacement cup holders can be purchased later from your John Deere dealership if needed. For X3 series owners, make sure the arrow on the template points towards the front of the tractor before drilling. Now, cut a hole in the bottom of the cup holder as shown. We recommend cutting this hole towards the back left of the cup holder. Make sure it's large enough to pass the connectors on the wire leads from the joystick top through. Install the joystick base in the cup holder. Make sure the hole in the top of the base faces towards the front of the tractor. Secure with the provided M5 screws and lock nuts. Next, feed the connectors from the joystick top down and through the hole you cut. Attach the joystick top to the base by aligning the tabs with the grooves on the base. Twist the top into place and secure it using the provided M3 hex screw. Now, put the cup holder back on your tractor using the original hardware. Nicely done! Your joystick is mounted. Let's move on to installing the control box. This is where the magic happens. It controls the LGM 100 based on what commands you send with the joystick. Open the hood of your tractor. Locate the two holes shown and install the provided U-nuts. Attach the mounting bracket using the quarter inch screws. Do not over tighten. Slide the control box into the bracket. Secure it in place with four M5 screws. Mount the power distribution unit using the quarter inch bolts. Mount the splice pack as shown. Attach both two pin connectors and the one three pin connector from the power distribution unit to the corresponding connectors on the control box. Squeeze the connectors together firmly until you hear them click into place. Use the provided hardware to mount the auxiliary relay as shown. Connect the black connector on the end of the white wire to the existing 12 volt fast connector. Next, feed the two extension cables down through the engine bay, under the tractor, and up through the rear wheel well. Be mindful of the orientation. Route these cables to avoid any moving parts and be careful not to cut the cables on any sharp edges. Attach the extension cables to the corresponding connectors on both ends. Zip tie the extension cables out of the way of contact in the tires or any other moving parts. Double check these cables and connectors will not be rubbing against anything moving. Now, connect the harnesses to the two four pin gray connectors. If you have not already installed these harnesses, please reference our LGM 100 installation video for how to route them. We're almost done. Next, we need to connect the power harness to the battery. Use a half-inch socket to remove the nut from the positive battery terminal posts. 
Be careful not to touch anything metal to both the positive battery terminal and any part of the tractor. Wear rubber gloves for protection. Attach the red wire to the positive battery terminal post and then secure the wire in place with the nut. Repeat this process to connect the black wire to the negative battery terminal. The last step is to test your new joystick controls. Turn the tractor key to the on position and then push the red button. This is your emergency on off switch. If you ever get in trouble, push the red button and it will kill power to the LGM100. Next, push the green button momentarily so it lights up. Now there is power to the LGM100. You should be able to operate the loader by moving the joystick. Congratulations! You've successfully installed the joystick upgrade kit. You're now ready to experience enhanced control and precision in your gardening and landscape tasks. Thank you for choosing LGM USA. We're here to support you every step of the way, so don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or need further assistance. Happy landscaping, and here's to many enjoyable hours with your LGM 100. Lift it, move it, do it with LGM USA.